Right, this video, very important, is for changing mixed numbers to improper fractions. And the success criteria for this is MA. Now MA stands for multiply, then add. That's all it is. It's a quick and easy way to remember. I always say, the children that teach you, you're going to ask for help to change the mixed number, you're going to ask your MA. Now a mixed number is when you've got a whole number alongside a fraction. So this here is a mixed number and an improper fraction, this bottom part, would be a fraction where the top basically is more than the bottom. Okay, So this is your mixed number when you've got a mixture between a whole number and a fraction and your improper fraction or sometimes it's called a top heavy fraction because the top is heavier or worth more than the bottom. Okay, but we'll call them improper fractions in this. And to change from this to this, all you have to do is ask your ma for help. So multiply, then add. I'm going to show you how to do that with a few different things, few different examples. So we'll get a whiteboard. So first thing, if I've got three and four fifths, now we're going to ask ma for help. It's a mixed ask ma, mixed ask ma. That's the best way to remember. So you multiply, now what do you multiply? You multiply the whole number with the denominator or the bottom number. So you go 3 times 5 equals 15. And then you have to add, and what have you not used at all in the question? You haven't used the 4 yet. So you add the 4 and the 15, which equals 19. And the denominator will always stay the same. So it becomes 19 over 5. So we multiply, gives us 15, and then we add which gives us 19. And the answer as an improper fraction is 19 over 5. Let's try another one. We've got, I don't know, 6 and a third. So multiply, then add a mixed fraction, ask Ma for help. So multiply your 6 times 3, which is the denominator. 6 times 3 is 18. Then we add 1 plus 18 equals 19. And then the denominator stays the same, which is 3. So it's 19 over 3, 6 and 1 third. As a mixed fraction, if you turn it into an improper fraction, 19 over 3. Let's do one more. Uh, 10 and 4 sevenths. So, ma, multiply and add. So multiply the 10 by the 7, the denominator. 10 times 7 equals 70. Then we add 4 and 70, which gives me 74. And the denominator stays the same. That's it. Right, for one for you to have a go at. Now remember, mixed, we're asking math. So if you've got four and, I don't know, three quarters. What is that as a improper fraction? If you want to pause, have a little go. So we'll go three, answer in three, two, one. So we multiply, so multiply the, uh, the whole number with the denominator. Four times four equals 16. And then we add. Add the 3, 3 add 16 equals 19, and then the denominator stays the same. Easy as that.